Carving the perfect creations. We are helping you make the most out of your pumpkins this Halloween, and we're bringing in the big guns. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. If it's not so good, you can just turn it over, stick it in the corner, and start all over. Earlier on the morning show, award-winning pumpkin carver Danny Kissel joined us to talk about the most common mistakes made when you are carving. Now we want to talk about the best tools and techniques to use so you can become a carving king just like him. All right. Oh, <laughs> Wow. I don't know about that. So look at this masterpiece. There is roughly 8,000 pounds of pumpkin in this photo. What? And it took four people to create. All right, I'm not trying to be the king, the queen. I just want to look a little better so I'm not embarrassed. So I Danny Kissel is here to help <laughs> us out. I'm telling you, it, it is not easy to carve a pumpkin. You got to have strength. You got to have creativity. You got to have the right tools. You got to have time. Patience. <laughs> Lots of patience. <laughs> <laughs> Now, one of the things that I recommend doing when you're starting your pumpkin is draw it out with dry erase markers. Uh, you can wipe them off. So you can redraw it a couple of times. You can even draw it, you know, a day ahead of time if you want to. But one of the, the main things I use is that. But we'll take this guy right here and I'll show you. Let's say you're working, you have your paring knife. And let me ask you real quick. So you would you say the ones that you get, you know, like from the store, like Walmart or something, are they good enough or should you use maybe like a knife you have in your kitchen? You can use in anything. I think I bought this online for a dollar, maybe two dollars, something like that. OK, so, yeah, serrated I, whatever you want to use. I have lots of questions. Serrated or should it be like just clean? I like the clean ones. The okay. serrated work, serrated works nice, too. But I like the clean ones They're They seem to be a smoother cut. The serrations tend to, to tear a little bit with the soft flesh of a pumpkin. Okay, all right, the hidden Sorry, secret, I didn't to interrupt, go ahead. <laughs> There's your knife. The hidden secret it. if you make a mistake is super glue. Oh. So I cut this tooth off, but you know, if you're working on your tooth and you break it off, it falls off, you don't know how to get it back on. Oh, super glue that. is, I believe it's because it's polyurethane based, super glue, whenever it comes in contact with water, swells and expands when it does expands into the pores yeah, it's fixed. Yeah, you got it. that. that's easier than what it takes if you lose a tooth and have to go to the dentist i was gonna say do not try this <laughs> exactly. on your children at home right <laughs> now the other thing and this is something i didn't tell you guys i was going to do this is how to preserve your pumpkin the best oh. this one was carved about a week ago and it's been placed in my refrigerator wrapped in cling wrap so if you have a party to get to and you don't have time to carve, you know, a week, maybe two weeks before the party, you can carve it, wrap it in cling wrap and stick it in the fridge. So we'll unwrap it here and see how it looks. Okay. Good deal. That, that's so smart. And while you're doing that, Danny, I want to ask, because we've all been to the pumpkin patch and like you knock on the pumpkins and you see somebody trying to listen to it. That's a lot. Is there any reason? No, no, no. People <laughs> do it with pumpkins too. <laughs> you do it with watermelons. People do knock on them to try yeah. to see like the density and everything. Does that so make a difference? One, it does actually. If you're looking to do a jack o' lantern style pumpkin, you actually won't want it kind of thin because what will happen as you're using tools like this, they won't reach through into the cavity. So you want to try and find one that's thin so that your tools will reach. So you said that's so, a week old? This is a week old. Yeah, that looks great. Wait, but how did, so did you not take the top and off? It looks the exact same. Oh, you went no. from underneath. If you take the bottom of it off, I talk about it all the time, the stem has nutrients in it that will add longevity to your pumpkin. If you cut the top of it off, the first thing that usually happens is it'll fall inside because you don't have the angle mm -hmm. right, or you can't get set back on. So if you cut the bottom of it off, you literally take your light, set it down, set the pumpkin on top of it, that. and then light it up wherever my remote's at. Woo! Oh. Beautiful. Not to mention, now, it, it also can, can soak up the water, right, to keep it longer? Exactly. Now, if you take it and put it in, say, a plate, uh, like a plate of water or one of the containers, like for your plants, that catches the water so it doesn't leak all over the porch, you can actually set it on that, and this part here will absorb that water and kind of hydrate it and make it last longer. But you can also take lights and set them on your front porch and angle them. These are the same pond lights I use inside, just LED waterproof lights. You can angle them towards your display and set them up. Awesome. And you have just a little bit cooler looking display than your neighbors will have just by lighting alone. 
and I like to get various shapes too. So you, if you have, you know, all three that look like this or all three that look like this, it's not as cool as being able to put all three of different sizes and shapes together. Danny, that's good stuff. That's, that is gorgeous. Yeah, gorgeous. Very easy to duplicate. <laughs> we appreciate your help today, and I can't wait to see what all your creations this season. Yeah. Thank you for carving out some time uh, for us. <laughs> that's actually what I'm doing. I'm getting ready for the next event right now. <laughs> All right. All right. Get working because your things are amazing. And I know that takes time. All right. So viewers, we also want to see your creations, elaborate, simple, terrible, whatever. <laughs> Share your pumpkin masterpieces on newsforjacks.com slash snapjacks and submit a photo under the Halloween fall section. And we again will share them.